when it started, uh, it start, started like a flow. But when the days goes on, I feel I can't uh, breathe. I, I decided to go to hospital. And when the doctor looked at me in my nose, he said, you have a tumor. Nijua kuwa kitakacho tokea mwanangu ni kupoteza maisha. Kwa sababu ni shikia watu wengi wasema kwamba ukisha pata saratani, wewe basi ni mtu wa kuondoka. In Tanzania, as in many developing countries, cancer patients have often struggled to get access to the treatment they need. In most high-income countries, there are about five radiotherapy machines for every million people. In Tanzania, until recently, there was just one machine for all 57 million people. About 10 years ago, the situation was really different from the way it is now. The outcome was really, really uh, not good. People's lives were being slowly eaten away by a disease that is often curable in other parts of the world. For a young man like Rashid, being forced to spend a year in bed was almost too much to bear. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do my job. I was only sleeping yeah, all days. I feel one day I can stand to go to the football. Luckily for Rashid and many thousands of others like him, things had been changing in Tanzanian hospitals. After recognizing the growing cancer crisis in Tanzania, the IAEA chose the Ocean Road Cancer Institute to show what can be done if you mobilize the right resources for cancer care. To reach patients across the country, the IAEA has also been helping the government provide radiotherapy in the northern city of Mwanza. In the past, doctors here had to send their cancer patients 1,200 kilometers away for treatment. 20 years ago, you write to her that she has to go to Dar es Salaam. She does not have any relatives. She does not know where Dar es Salaam is. They used to stay home and die. But now, the situation is different. We have been uh, supporting Tanzania since they started offering radiotherapy services. Today, Tanzania has got several uh, new machines that they're able to use to treat the patients in the country. Additionally, and most importantly also, we've been able to uh, help Tanzania train oncologists and technicians that are able to use these machines more effectively and efficiently in treating the patients. One of the first patients to benefit from the improved facilities in the north was Margaret, a preacher from across Lake Victoria. Margaret was diagnosed with cervical cancer two years ago and received weeks of radiotherapy at Bugando Medical Center before being declared cancer free. Sasa hivi nina furaha kwa kweli kwa sababu hata afya yangu ninavyojisikia ninajisikia vizuri afya yangu imerudi isibio ilivyokuwa. The survival rates will increase because one we have patients now at early stage. Second, we have proper modalities for treatment. That will increase the survival rates. Yes. 
back in Dar es Salaam, things are looking up for Rashid as well. We have been receiving machines, knowledge, funds from different uh, organizations like the IA, and also the government is still uh, supporting us quite a lot. Because of this, we, we have been able to give hope to our patients, yes. After receiving 30 sessions of radiotherapy on the new machine, Dr. Seo tells Rashid that his tumor is almost gone and that the doctors expect it to disappear entirely after some follow-up chemotherapy. Feeling good, feeling better. I'm feeling like uh, I'm going to reach my goals. Yes. Yes. Tanzania has made vast gains over the last decade, but with the constant flow of new cancer cases, more resources are always needed. It's not just Tanzania that faces this issue. Access to radiotherapy is still extremely limited in many low- and middle-income countries. The IAEA is working with partners around the world to improve this and boost cancer care in general by supporting research, arranging training, offering procurement support, and providing guidance on international safety standards. All cancer patients deserve the same second chance as Rashid and Margaret. <laughs>